non-vegetarian. Miss Glass, Tiffany. My name's Kenny Gupta. I work in... Uh... Accounts. I've seen you. Really? I'm, I'm flattered. It's all to all Asians, isn't it? Yes, but you're the only one who drops his pencil every time I walk past. this. Kenny Gupta? Extension 3948? You, you get off her, you smock. Oh, oh, a new hit. Oh. 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 Kenny Gupta? You work for me? Nine years in accounts. Oh, that explains it. It's wall-to-wall Asians in there. Daddy. Oh, so... You're Indian. Daddy! Well, technically, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Tonight you showed courage. You showed initiative. You showed sacrifice. Qualities I admire. Thank you, sir. That's why I'm promoting you, son. <gasps> really? You're going home. Wembley? India. To show Anthony the ropes. No, I can't. I have an absorption problem with spicy food. I don't even like cricket. You can't send Anthony to India. There's mosquitoes. There's... Beggars on every corner. I mean, I know they're happy, but... Philip, it's third world. With respect, it's the second fastest growing economy in the world. It has the largest middle class. Oh, oh he's good. I'm not scared. I love curry. The hot, the better. I won the Hendon Vindaloo Challenge last year, didn't I, Mum? Oh, anyone? Me. I can't just... Excuse me. Daddy, you know I've always dreamt of going to India. You want to work in a call centre? A call centre? Well, it's better than nothing. You've never let me earn my own money. How can you say that? I gave you your first job. Number 27, the Financial Times, Miss Tiffany. God, this is so humiliating. All I ever do is go on courses. Last month he sent me to Aspen to learn sensual massage. So, report me to Childline. Better still, Esther Ranson's on table 17. Uh, about this call centre. I acquired it in a job lot. It's losing a fortune. I'm giving the pair of you three months to turn it around. Piece of piss. I can't just drop everything. I have a career path. I have responsibility. <laughs> Tiffany? See you in Mumbai, boys. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. It's exactly what I expected. I don't know, it's not that bad. Look, they got McDonald's. There's a cow outside. It's got to be fresh. I thought India would be so romantic. I want to go home. But typical Tiffany. I've never seen anything through. That's rich. Coming from the first Jew who failed the knowledge. Oh, right, yeah. And what about when you... Guys, guys. We're here. This better not be the hotel. We're not due here till tomorrow. Exactly. Catch them on the hop. The right head chief, full of babes. 
an old Indian. Come on. Hello, please. Come in. Uh, welcome, Punja. You're on time, so I wasn't expecting you. Actually, uh, we're a day early. E even better. Yeah, oh, I'm Kenny uh -huh. Gupta, please. And I'm Anthony Harris. Uh -huh. And that's my cousin Tiffany. Oh, like the breakfast, isn't it? Well, hello, madam. Or is it miss? Miss. Oh, wonderful. Married, boyfriend, single? Uh, none of those. I mean, she's not available. So, um, are you... I'm Tiffany Glass. <laughs> Glass. Ah, I see. It's an honor. It's the telephone. Yes. No, she was married to Prince Philip. No, the Duke of Edinburgh was her first husband, idiot. <laughs> oh, that queen. Then it was Freddie Mercury. How often do you brief the staff? You know, popular culture, current affairs, things that are going on back in England. Once or twice a month. A week. Okay, then. What sort of thing did you brief them on, you know, last time round? Um... <laughs> Okay, three seconds. You, you, and you, fire. Balram, you next. I think we covered sport and politics. I'd like to see the books. All of them, please. I'm a Watford supporter too, sir. Grab the first one, please. Have you tried removing the plug at the wall? It's like a miracle. <laughs> One minute India has 50 million unemployed graduates, the next we are dealing with all your problems because your people would rather sit on their settees watching daytime television and eating pizza. <laughs> yeah, right. What do you think? I don't like the look of these books. Books? I can get you new books. <laughs> no. Would you mind waiting outside? <laughs> Not at all. Now? He's been ripping us off, running at least half a dozen businesses on the side. Well, so fire him! Chop him off with the knees! Where's his ass? It's not the way things are done here. It's the culture. Yin and yang, karma... And I'll fire him! I I'm not sure that's such a good idea. I'll show Uncle Phil I know what I'm doing. You back? Listen, there, this isn't going to work. Alert! Alert, alert! Kenny, that was amazing. Where did you pick all that up? Bollywood movies. Wembley Markets. Great team effort on that one, hey? I thank you all for coming now. Uh, as Dev is no longer part of the management team. Oh no, what's happening? Power cut. Well, how often does this happen? All the time. What do we do? We go and get ice cream. We'll reconvene outside in five minutes. Yeah, a good idea. Auntie. Uh, well, uh, as I was saying... Falkert? It wasn't you, was it? Of course not, boss. I can't believe we haven't got a backup generator. Backup generator? No problem. Yeah, pay attention, please. Uh, now, I will be doing the weekly briefing as Dev has gone off to consider his options, whatever they are. Maybe he's gone to that new call centre in Bandra. The one with the air conditioning, a water cooler, an espresso machine. We can get an espresso machine. Too hot to drink coffee without air conditioning. We'll, we'll get air conditioning. Look, from now on, we're going to do everything by the book. Calls will be logged, information will be updated, problems will be referred to as challenges. We're going to work hard and we're going to play hard because there's nothing wrong with letting your hair down. It, it means relax. One generator, as ordered, my uncles. What? One generator. Is it in the this figure? Or the battle of Fleet Horse? Or the right, yes, on the whole. Hello, Chino Credit, please. Yeah. Reinstate this! Yeah. Reinstate this! Yeah. Rolling Stones yeah. ticket! Yeah. Rolling Stones yeah. ticket! Yeah. Reinstate this! Yes, I'm trying to get the waiting. Oh. oh, thank God. Ice cream? No. We've got to get them back on side. Why can't we just sack this crew and get another crew? Maybe if we made this place more attractive. I used to date this guy who was really big in Apple. Apple? 
Was he a maggot? <laughs> maggot. Grow up, Anthony. They had a health club, a juice bar, Philippe Stark designed workstations, really beautiful. Tiffany, we don't have any money. Well, I'm sure if I ask Daddy. D Daddy? Doesn't even know you're here. Daddy thinks you're on an art appreciation course in Venice. Well, you come up with an idea, apart from sacking everyone. All right. How about a team building exercise? Marcus went on with his firm. They went paintballing. And then they went on a massive pub crawl, all got bladdered and finished up in a strip club. We do that, and this lot will think it's Christmas. That is so insensitive. For a start, half the staff are women. No, actually, I think Anthony's got something. What? Brain damage? No, 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 I mean it. We need to go shopping. Jean, but you, Miss Glass, way to go. Uh, runs in the family. When Grandpa passed away, Daddy not only got the chief rabbi to do the funeral, but also my cousin's bar mitzvah and Uncle Jack's wedding, even though he married out. Well, that's some genius. You know, I think I might get to like this place. I had a lot of fun with you today, Kenny. You did? With me, did you? Well, I had a lot of fun with you, Tiffany. In fact... I, I would. I don't know if it. <laughs> oh, I, I wonder if you would consider. Oi, oi. Well, I'm broke. Gave my money some little guy on a skateboard. You've done all right, though. Shh. Kenny, you, you wanted to say what? Uh, just uh, nothing. We just we just got to get uh, started on this. Okay. <laughs> it's a bit keen, isn't it? Bad. Not bad at all. Good job, man. Okay, let's get him in. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. Come, in. come in, come in, please, take a seat. Come in, come in, take a seat. Hello, Merry Christmas, take a seat. Come in. Come in, Merry Christmas, lovely to see you. So glad you could make it. Uh, I know it's uh, it's not December, but we wanted to show you how a proper British company looks after its workers. Uh, so uh, dinner is served. Curtsy, flying glass, airways. Two Jews and a Hindu serving Christmas dinner in Mumbai in March. That's thinking outside the box. Oh, thank you. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm still on the payroll pending my appeal against unfair dismissal. Why is all the turkey meat dark? Don't ask me, I'm vegetarian. It's not turkey, it's beef. What? They order beef. I know they don't eat pork, I'm not that stupid. Oh my gods, what boo you're in! Mr. Anthony, the British were booted out of India because of similar stupid ignorance. With all due respect. He's right. What do we do? Nobody eat! And what? This is as far as I got. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is traditional before we start to, um, uh, uh... Do the conga! Chacha ji, conga ho jai! Quickly clear up. <laughs> well, 
Chinese is irony, isn't it? The Brits clear the tables while pissed Indians dance around the room. <laughs> Oi! Yeah? Hey! Shh, shh, shh. Oh. Hello, Uncle Phil. Yeah, I'll put her on. He thinks I'm in Venice. I don't think he does. Daddy? You think I don't know everything that's going on? I'm really sorry, Daddy. I just wanted to see India. Ah, oh, just like that. After the way you disobeyed me, young lady, I think you need to be taught a lesson. You wanted a proper job? Well, now you've got one. And I don't want to hear that you've been spotted in Bond Street for at least six months. Understood? I was going to close that call centre, but you, Anthony and that Indian fella, can stay put until it makes some bloody money. Got it? Yeah.